Hello, my name is Coach Bree with Alp Cycles Coaching, and today we're talking plyometrics. Woo! Or plyos for short. So we've integrated plyos as part of our Alp Cycles training program uh, with the bike. So we have an endurance and an explosive uh, workouts. So it's plyos and bike incorporated. But this uh, video is going to be specifically about lower body leg work that's specific to cycling, uh, plyometric, without the bike. And these are a couple of exercises that you can do at home. Um, and so yeah, basically, why are plyometrics important, okay? Plyometrics are important uh, because it does help increase your anaerobic power on the bike. So think of those less than two minute efforts, okay? Uh, talk about accelerations, uh, it helps with that snap in your sprint, leg speed, leg endurance, strengthens your joints, ligaments, muscles, it helps with balance and flexibility, and also helps just with overall firepower on the bike. So it really pairs well with the strength work. And typically, you want to have about four to eight weeks of base strength work uh, before starting with moving into plyos. Uh, and plyos typically are, you know, they're introduced leading into race season, okay? That's how we do it with Alp Cycles Coaching. That's how a lot of coaches will integrate it into various uh, training programs. Uh, but now, since we're kind of in the midst, we're in the midst of COVID crisis, uh, we don't know when racing is going to happen exactly. So I think it's important right now to keep the strength program fresh, keep it fun, and spice up your uh, life with some plyos. So anyway, uh, the video, reason why the video is being made is because it was per request from Michelle from Colorado, and she wanted to know how she could do plyos at home uh, with her home gym. So I'm going to show you uh, the tools that you need for this workout. Uh, and then what we're doing. So first tools that you'll need. You will need uh, a step up of sorts. You can use a, um, your staircase uh, steps. You could use um, like you've got a tire and a plank. You just want something stable and you want your step up to not be that high. You don't want it to be uh, too high to where you can't get an efficient explosive jump in. The point is to get as much uh, <clears throat> explosiveness in your jump going up and into your landing. You don't want it to be so high that you're, you just can't get yourself up there. Uh, and what else that you'll need? You'll need some tape as a reference. So I put a little piece of tape, you can put a stuffed toy, a sock, it doesn't matter, just have a reference. Uh, you want to do this in a place where you have some good friction on the ground. Probably don't want to do it in your kitchen where it's like glossy wood or something like that. You want to have um, some friction, so like cement, uh, outside, etc. Um, so yeah, here's our workout. I'm going to show you one round today as an example, so you could do it on your own. Uh, so basically, I recommend two to three rounds of these exercises. Uh, basically, one round includes one minute of warm-up or jump rope, burpees, um, jumping jacks, then we're going to do 20 reps of the following, 20 reps of single leg box jumps, 20 reps of single leg lateral jumps, 20 reps of the single leg uh, hop, and then we'll do an explosive jump squat, and then ice skaters, 20 reps. Um, and so after you do one round, you spend 30 seconds total in your recovery, and then move into the next round. So. Each round takes roughly nine and a half to 10 minutes. So if you do three rounds, you got 30 minutes right there. Your average heart rate's gonna be up there, tempo, even threshold zone. So it's 30 minutes of a high intensity hit training, plyo style. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you an example. And I like to wear a heart rate strap and a watch because I like to geek out over even heart rate. Uh, but it's also kind of cool because you can see just in 10 minutes, how many calories you're burning and where you, what your heart rate's up doing. So anyways, here we go. So I'm gonna do about a minute worth. And I like to spice it up with the jump rope, alternate legs, and single leg jumpies, do a little skipping action, both legs. A 
little jog in place. Woo! Sometimes it gets hit on the uh, ceiling. Then you just start over where you left off. You want to make sure you have enough room when you do this. Woo! A little faster. single leg jumps. So you're going to use your tape as a reference. Again, you want to have that partial kind of squat going, that brace. Squeeze the butt, kind of like rotate your hips forward. And you want to have your hands and your, or your core as braced and as strong as possible, okay? Uh, you want to have your hands in front of you. Pretend like you're holding a tray of hot tea, okay? Um, so the point being is you want your upper body to be as still as possible. So I kind of do something like this, and then I go back and forth 20 times. So that would be one. And I don't want my hips to be all jagged. I want it to be as square as possible. And my hands in front of me, bracing that tray, bracing my core. Don't want the water to spill. So we used to do this all the time in ski racing as part of our dry land training. 
So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, one, three, one. Woo! All right, other side, same deal. One, two, three. My left side is a little bit janky. So slow down if you need to. Proper form is key.
So for that circuit, I did it in 11 minutes. My average heart rate was 150. So and that was with all the talking. So imagine doing 30 second rest, rolling back into it. You got a high intensity workout in just 30 minutes. So that's it for today. Again, my name is Coach Bree with Alp Cycles Coaching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, like our video, leave comments. If there's anything you would like to see in the weeks ahead, if you say like, hey Bree, I've got a, a broom, I've got, I don't know, a garbage can. Can you show us some kind of cool exercises to incorporate those household items? We can do it. Anything really. Uh, so leave your comments below. Thank you for watching and watch out for next week's video which will be released on Wednesday. Thank you. Have a good day.